Thank you very much. Well, having been away for a while, um, through our own lobbyistic power, we're able to get involved with some good friends uh, through the connection of Honorable Sir Joseph. And today we have these medical supplies that will be given up to clinics within the district. Approximately, we got like five or six clinics in district number nine that are going to benefit from the distribution today. The Lakbasi Community Clinic, um, the um, Goodwill Community Clinic. There are two community clinics in Roto Town. And also within the Lakpasi, we have three clinics within Lakpasi, Central Lakpasi, Lakpasi Zuro, and all the way down towards the um, Badu River. So we have the Baby Ma Clinic over there. So we have some items specifically for, you know, mothers who just give birth. And then there are other, you know, issues that has to do with tar for diarrhea. These are medical supplies to address this. Was there a requisition from those clinics that prompted the uh, materials? Well, no, we haven't gone to them to ask them. We do believe that uh, health is a major challenge in the country. And so we believe that our district is of no exception. And that's the reason why we decided to get these supplies to bring it out to them. And the cost of cash? Well, I will say approximately twenty to $25,000. Because you see the delivery bed here will be turned over to the community, um, the Lakwasi community, because we notice a lot of our women go out there before they can get to JFK. The community can also address the situation of delivery so we'll also be given a, a delivery bill so approximately 25,000 United States dollars is what we're talking about how, how these items can help uh, the health is in this district well we do believe that once our people get to the clinic and if they ask for a particular you know medical supply and once we are one of those people that make it available the clinic can be also you know making the same medical uh, supply available for the people these uh, materials may not just touch all the clinics or hospitals in the district. You may just find problems or criticism with the rest of the other clinics. Well, I would say the only clinic so far that left out of this distribution is the Dua Clinic. And the reason is that um, when we did the projection and when we did the um, submission of our clinic listing, at that time the Dua Clinic was still closed. And so because of that, we were not, be, were not able to, you know, ascertain some materials for them. But I can assure you, within the next three months, we have um, medications that will be coming into the country for which the work clinic is going to benefit. Well, as you gradually draw down to the end of the tenure um, for this um, thing, is, uh, is this kind of um, what it means for the people of your district? And are you sort of closing on the campus? Well, I will say, um, during the period of campaign, I said true representation, and I do believe that's one of the means in which I can represent my people, to be able to talk to somebody, to see reason, to assist my people on the many challenges that they are faced with. I will not say what, I've, what we are about to do today is in the name of, you know, completing campaign promises. What I told my people I was going to do, I accomplished them within one year. And then the rest is for the people of the district to decide whatever they want to do. At the end of the day, no one gets to where I am if the people doesn't decide your fate. What we say to critics who believe that these uh, materials are intended as a means of pre-campaigning for 2017? Well, they will be subject to their opinion. And I will say hard off to them because that's their view. I cannot criticize them because this is how they feel about the process. But the best thing is, I want someone to say, thank God. I went there and I got treated. Your donation is coming at a time when there is a re-emergence of the ghetto Ebola virus in Mabinga. What's the own message to this place? What I will say to the people of Electoral District Number 9 and the Liberian people is about time that we go back to our measures. Ebola is gradually creeping into our communities and we need to stop shaking hands. We need to start washing our hands again because you don't want the epidemic to, you know, you don't want the, the, the virus to take over your community like it did before, it took us by surprise. We know what we can do. We have done it before and we can still do it again. And I do believe that washing your hands, stop shaking hands, stop the hugging and staying around people sweating and all of that will be able to help us to prevent the deadly Ebola virus. But I would say within these materials, we have gloves and, you know, other things that I think will be able to help the process in the, in the fight.